Like the moment you let people in and, and don't let him be known. Don't let him be known because it's worse. <laughs> How is dating in the DMV? What's the craziest experience you ever had on a drunk night? I have a lot of those. Um... <laughs>
What's the craziest experience you ever had on a drum night? I have a lot of those. Um, <laughs> the craziest experience, craziest experience, driving home from, I'm not proud of this. I drove home from school, I went to Virginia State. I drove all the way from Virginia State to Fort Washington, drunk as fuck. One, one time, God really had my back. Drunk as hell. Um, I woke up the next morning in my bed like, what the fuck am I doing here? It was bad. I had gotten arguments with my friends or some wild shit. And my mom didn't want me to do this. And she tried to talk me out of it. But she stayed on, stayed on the phone with me the whole entire ride. So that's two hours. I made it safely. Like I said, I, I, I'm not proud of that. I don't condone it. My mom didn't condone it. But what can she do to her 20 three-year-old who's two hours away with her own car. You know what I'm saying? It's not her fault at all. Would you ever post a man on your social media while or not? Um, I have before, I have before, but I told myself my next relationship, y'all not getting shit from me. I don't care about my like close friends, not the Instagram close friends, but my real close friends and stuff. If I want to send them pictures when me and my man go on a trip, or if I want to post him like Wizard Kelly. But the moment you let people in and don't let him be known, don't let him be known. Cause it's worse, duh, but it's worse. I'm just, yeah, I'm not. Mm -mm. So no, I will never ever post a man on my social media ever again, unless I ain't got shit to prove to none of y'all. If I ever posted a guy, it's cause I wanted to. I never posted a nigga to try to make the, the next bitch mad or the last bitch mad or to claim him. If I ever posted you, or posted it, I just wanted to do that. Don't feel special, please don't. I wanted to do that. It was not about her, not about them, not about anything but me. Why are you so perfect? Thank you. But I'm not, I'm far from perfect. I think I do a great job of um, expressing that too. Like showing that, that I'm far from perfect. So well, I don't think I'm better than nobody. I don't, I'm not like a bitch that thinks she got it and she can be touched and all this and that. Like, no, I just, my favorite thing to do is to be me. I can't tell you how to live your life. Just be yourself. 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 It's so easy. How could you not just be yourself? I just don't understand. You just find yourself, even if you don't know fully yourself, because I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I know myself. Like, <laughs> even if you know a little bit of who you are, a little bit of like where you want to be or a little bit about like what's your niche and what's not your niche just go with that shit so stop trying to be something that you're not that's how you remain solid and that's how you remain perfect is because you just be yourself not asking anything paris merch real soon K okay, bye boom that's the tweet no for real definitely gonna come out with some merch soon y'all um yeah in the lab what's your favorite way to relax my favorite way to relax is honestly to get high. That's literally how I can. Or I like to be on this couch like him and I like to curl up and I like to watch that chapter on YouTube whenever he come out with a new video. Or I like to watch True Crime and just sip my wine or my drink, whatever I got, and just share. What's a perfect date night for me? Um, perfect date night for me would be, I get dressed, I don't know where we're going, but I'm allowed to wear sweatpants and a hoodie, but you know, cute shit, you know, like real cute sneakers, you know, whatever. And I don't know where we're going, but you come and get me. We go to the place and we're eating and we're drinking. And then after that, we go somewhere, but it's like a fun activity, like maybe top golf, or maybe laser tag, or maybe like, I don't know, but it gotta be active and fun. Get a nice room, nice hotel room, even if we both got our own places, um, have it decorated already. I never had that happen, like flowers, rose petals and all that. That would be nice. And then the bath can be rain. And then we can like talk and have fun and laugh in the hotel. I love hotels. Anyway, so we can, um, after that, we can go to sleep. We can wake up and that's it. 
or my second date would be a picnic. That's like one of my favorite dates, actually. Third date would be for you to fly me out of the, the state. Even if it's just a state, fly me out somewhere with a beach. It could be Miami, I don't give a fuck. Or out the country. Yeah, so those top three things, but yeah. Three words for 2022, ooh, I like that. Fuck you, bitch. Like, um, money, travel, and money, travel, and damn, I got too many words. I can't just do three, because I would say money, travel, and love. When I say love, I'm not talking about relationships, and I mean, that, I mean, if it happens, it happens, but like, friends, family, like close ones. That's what I mean by love. Love, travel, and money. I also would say dedication. I would also say focus. I would also say um, consistency. I would also say my business, your gym goddess. Like I would just say so many words, but yeah, just to say three, I will have to go with money, travel, and love. Cause that's all I'm doing. That's all I'm about in 2022. What made you want to start YouTube? Um, originally I started it because I had to for class in college. I just wanted, I thought that me and my friends were kind of cool. So I wanted to like capture our daily days, you know? And I, I mean, originally I would have loved for a cameraman to follow me all around. That should have been lit. I'd have been a millionaire by now. I thought we were so cool and I just wanted people, other people to like witness that too. So I started like vlogging at school and we had like, parties or we, we, we were home and I don't know. But that's why I started vlogging. I like editing videos. <laughs> I like editing. So um, that's another reason too. I've never ever wanted to do YouTube for the money, which is, I mean, everybody wants to do YouTube for the money, but I can honestly say I've never wanted to do YouTube for the money. Cause at first I never even knew that you could get paid for shit. I, you know what I'm saying? I just thought, I don't know. How is dating in the DMV? Dating in the DMV, okay. I feel like our generation right now and the whole dating, like when the whole dating topic comes up, our generation is just our generation. You know, we are quick to be like, this generation don't know about real love. This generation, all y'all some hoes, y'all freaks. Y'all freaked out, all y'all wanna do is fuck and you know, blah, blah, blah. He's like, don't you burn me, mommy. But I just think our generation right now, we currently are, we are trying not to get hurt um, right now. So right now I would say that the dating pool is kind of weird. Um, in fact, let me just back up. Let me answer the question. Cause I'm going around the loop and dating in the DMV is probably like how it is anywhere dating. I'm just from here and I never moved away. so. I feel like dating in the DMV, um, it sucks because everybody knows everybody, but it's not like that's a bad thing. I mean, currently not dating, um, but it doesn't, it's not, you just gotta be selective. That's all, just be selective. You just gotta be selective. Don't date no promoters. Don't date no motherfucking, um, yeah, oh, actually, that's it, that's sweet. Oh, don't date no rappers, don't date no promoters. And you'll be straight, 